everybody welcome to the channel back out here in the shop today gonna be working on todd's truck i know the last video we kind of ended off with uh me messing up but uh got it all fixed over this weekend everything's back straight and uh centered in the wheel gaps the way that it should be i'll show you that here in a minute so uh let's get started back to where i was supposed to be at the end of last video and that was getting the radiator and intercooler in this thing so that's kind of the plan I'll show you the parts once again and show you the wheel gaps that look good and uh, we'll get As started. You can see much better. Wheel gap is right where it should be now. I uh, ended up moving everything forward about two inches, uh, the mounts that is, that are down there. So move them forward about two inches and weld them back in. And uh, now everything is, oh, everything is where it should be. All the gaps look good. So we can uh, continue on with uh, this stuff. So yes, I think I already talked about it. This is a uh, all aluminum four core uh, radiator from it's actually off Amazon, but it comes with the fans and everything. It is a first gen radiator, but have that and then the first gen intercooler. So that is the stuff we're gonna be putting in the front of this truck. It all fits in pretty nice. I've already kind of checked some of it. So now comes the point of uh, building some mounts off of these two pieces here were actually the main support for what these front fenders and stuff hang on. So as you can see, it is still a little wiggly at the moment, but uh, need to make a mount to the frame here and uh, one on this side. I've seen some people that run, uh, that run a piece across and actually put them out in the middle, kind of like what they used to be. So I may look into doing that and need to box in the front of the frame rails where they were cut off. And then we're going to put a drop piece down from them because that's what the bumper will attach to. So, well, time to get started. Well, I've been looking at this and did some thinking, and I think what I'm gonna do, I have this piece of angle cut here. It is gonna sit down in the front. I had it tacked in already, but I obviously took it back out for a minute, but I'm gonna put that there. And I'm gonna take this uh, old Dodge cab mount here this piece and I'm gonna drill the two inch hole that this will receive and set that down inside of there. And then I will take another piece of metal and run it from these sides, weld it to these and run it across to this side and it'll sit on top of that mount. And then the feet of the intercooler here, these guys here, I will drill some holes through the other piece that's gonna saddle on top of this and then it'll just stick right down through there. So that'll be where the bottom of the intercooler mounts and then I'll have to make some mounts for the top. But the problem I'm running into right now is that when I cut these front frame rails off, that one was a little bit rotted at the bottom, and I just kind of roughly cut them off just so I could get the cab to fit, and they're not quite the same, and they need to be fixed a little bit. So fortunately, with all this stuff in the way, I'm gonna have to take the cab back off so that I can uh, get these front frame rails cleaned up and uh, looking nice so that we can uh, weld some new metal to them. So I guess we got to take the cab back off to do that, but then we'll continue forward on this front stuff. So I got a little bit of repair work I got to do here first before we can continue on with that, the front stuff. But uh, this bottom piece was rotted out of the frame, so I got this piece cut. That's going to go up in there like that, and I'm going to weld it in. It's got the hole for where the sway bar link mounts. So I got that one. And then uh, I have these other two brackets because this frame will be closed in and uh, you won't be able to get inside of here anymore. These are gonna slip inside of here. I'm gonna weld nuts to the back side so that you can shoot bolts up from the bottom and uh, they'll have something to attach to. And then I'll probably end up tack welding this piece in here just so it doesn't go anywhere. But uh, just some little stuff I gotta make and fix before I can um, straighten up these ends so that we can continue. So it's just all part of it. Well, we got our plates welded in with our bolts tacked onto our plates. I got this bottom piece built back out and uh, the plate on top of that one as well. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this big square, I'm gonna lay it against the floor. And uh, so I have a level line up and down. And I'm going to measure back to, I don't know, some point, maybe on that chalk tower or uh, spring tower or whatever on both sides so that I know exactly 
the same distance out so I can make sure we get the front of this square with the rest of the frame. So I'm going to work on that now so that we can then build our drop downs for the bumper and then the piece that goes across that holds the, the intercooler and the whole front of the cab. This top piece here is now what uh, this bushing here, I'll get it here for you. This bushing will be recessed down in there and that's what will carry, you know, the whole front of the truck and the radiator and the intercooler and all that. But this is the main support it'll sit on. And then these drop downs are for the bumper to mount to. So the bumper will be mounted down here in these corners on each side. And also uh, if he ever decides to put this on air, um, which I think he's talking about doing, uh, eventually these will actually sit on the ground with the when the trucks aired out so that way it will have something that it can sit on I got that hole cut there for the bushing to fit in fits in there good I also got these welded inside of here you can see that side and that side's kind of hard to see but behind the box I took the box off so that I could finish welding that up inside of there but uh, these things I don't think are going anywhere now they're welded in good along these edges too into the frame. So that should be a nice strong front mount for everything. So let's uh, let the cab not have some air time anymore and let's set it down on here and see if we can get uh, some of the rest of the stuff lined up tonight. Got the cab set back down. Everything fits pretty good. Now I just need to determine what I'm going to do to, you know, utilize this mounting spot with this bushing. I don't know. It's kind of thick. I don't know if I like that bushing there or not. Might look a little, I don't know. I haven't decided yet. But uh, the plan is for sure that we're going to build something off of this. Obviously, that's the main support. And uh, there'll be something that runs across ways that connects into, you know, these mounts here on both sides. And that'll hold the front end up. And then obviously the radiator and intercooler stuff will be built off that in some way. But uh, that's all I'm going to do tonight. Um, got a few things I need to get done this evening. So there's good progress for today. Another morning out here in the shop. Um, got a little bit of stuff I got to move around this morning because uh, they want that trailer back. So I got to get that cab off and inside somewhere. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this uh, the first gen outside for now just to put this in. And... Uh, make the shop a little less crowded as well for now and uh i'll just be moving you know this truck in and out you know and use this as my work bay for now which uh which is okay so i guess uh gotta move some trailers around and get this truck out and figure out how we're gonna get that thing off that trailer i think i'm gonna use some rolling dollies and lift up the front and put some dollies under it and slide it out and I don't know. We're gonna have to figure it out. My plan was to back it in those lift arms of my two-post lift and pick the whole cab up, but the trailer's too wide, so it won't fit between the arms of the two-post lift. So I have to figure that out, and then go to Jack's Wax and see if them guys are slinging any wax today. I got it up on some rolling dollies. I uh, think what I'm gonna do, since the back of the trailer is more narrow, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move the white truck out and I'm gonna hook onto the trailer and I'm gonna back it in the lift arms. 
and roll this thing to the back of the trailer and then put the lift arms under and pick it up. I think that'll work. I don't know. Let's find out. Seems a little less sketchy than trying to roll that off or I don't know how I was going to get it off of there, but I think that's what we're going to try. off the trailer that was a lot easier than i expected i'm glad that i have this lift now it definitely makes life easier but uh i can actually open doors and show you guys this thing now it's uh maybe there we go so the fenders and stuff are on the inside here and the hoods and all that kind of stuff i was actually told see this one has vents in the hood which i've been told is more rare and was told it has something to do with a diesel engine in one of these, opposed to a gas. I don't know. Some international guy will probably correct me. I'm not sure. But door shut really nice. It's a pretty nice cab. So looking forward to building this one here in the coming months. We're going to get Todd's truck pushed back in the shop and get stuff shut up and get that trailer hooked up to the international and go to Columbus and visit Todd and Jared there at Jack's Wax. We got home from Jack's Wax, ate some dinner and stuff back out here in the shop. I'm going to try to get this radiator and air cooler in this thing tonight. But uh, I went ahead and got my holes drilled. So you can see, there you go, there it is. Uh, those are down, recessed down into that inch and a half piece on both sides. So that inner cooler is going to sit in there pretty much like that. And then I'm going to uh, come off of these tabs right over here. I'm going to make a little piece that attaches here to keep this from, you know, going side to side or front to back, whatever you want to call it. But uh, I need to pull these brackets out. Let me pull this intercooler out of here real quick. So I uh, have these little pieces of angle iron cut that I'm going to put here in these corners and I'm going to weld them to this piece. And that's what will attach the front fenders of the truck. Uh, so I got them cut out and ready but i need to trim these up they look pretty bad so i got them marked out where i think i want them to be trimmed at so we're gonna take those pieces out and get them trimmed up and put them back in and then get these uh get those little angle pieces welded on the corners so this front end is being held um, by this center mount there and then we'll get the intercooler dropped in and get it attached to that side like i just showed you 
and then onto the radiator wherever it ended up there it is get it in here tonight and set the hoods on and make sure everything's happy We got our side brackets back in got them welded down there at the bottom with those little pieces of angle so the front end is now mounted it is uh hanging out there on its own so that's good one more thing down uh also got the intercooler sitting in here it's sitting on those studs that i showed you earlier you can see one right oh right in there so it's sitting down where it should be so now i need to make some little got some little spacers that'll go in between here so it'll keep this thing upright so it won't fall over on us. So I'm going to do that real quick. And then we're going to try to get a radiator sitting in here behind this. Well, there it is. It's in. Nice and solid. I think I'm going to cut a little bit longer um, spacers and try to lean it, you know, towards the front just a little bit more. I didn't have any bolts that were long enough. Those were the longest ones I had that were quarter inch. So I'm gonna have to get some longer ones and cut some longer uh, spacers. But but it's in there. I think that's gonna work good. It's sitting down there on those mounts good in there that you can see on both sides. And these mounts work really good up here. It is really, really solid. So happy with that. So I guess now it's time to set a radiator in here and see how that's going to fit. We got, got these uh, little studs that stick down right here. And these little rubber bushings go on. I got one in my hand here too. And I got these little brackets that I made and they're going to actually go against that piece right there and sit just like that. And obviously this little bushing, if I can show you, will set in there just like that and that'll hold the bottom of the radiator. So I just need to get a measurement of where these things are gonna sit and they're gonna sit on there or something like that. I'm gonna weld them to that and set the radiator in there and see how it fits. have it there's the top mounts they uh obviously go on these rubber bushings and they go down and attach to this little thing on the front of the intercooler everything's nice and solid so got one of those on each side got a little bit of spacing in between the two so nothing's rubbing and touching and i just need to weld in those mounts at the bottom the rest of the way and uh we have a radiator and intercooler in this thing i want to put the hoods on because i had to make sure it would fit you know with the hoods on it as well so but everything seems to be gap good. We have clearance everywhere. And I'll lay this hood down here carefully. And there it is. Everything shuts and is in there like it should be. The stuff is a little higher in there than, than what's in mine. But, you know, because of that gearbox, that pesty gearbox in there, we had to be where we are with it. But that wraps up this stuff up front here. So all we got to still do is hang the bumper off of these mounts here in the front but uh, now we can get our measurements and figure out uh, how far we got to move the engine back and then uh, we can get the engine it's still hanging out over there but got to get it back in here and uh, then we can start closing the tunnel on inside and the firewall and just the next step and the next step so that's going to finish us up for today out here in the shop happy we got that stuff done up front there it's been a long time coming to getting that stuff in there so i'm happy to see that progress and uh, that's going to, you know, help us continue on to get the engine back in this thing and hopefully get it uh, to a good phase here really soon. But uh, we are going to be doing one more show this year uh, down in uh, Sparta, Tennessee. It's the show that did get canceled. I'll throw up a flyer here just so you guys can see it. So if any of you guys are down around that area and you want to come 
see the truck and check out the show. I know I'll be there. There's going to be some other load stars there and just a bunch of cool vehicles, some cool trophies. Uh, I'll have a bunch of shirts and stuff with me if you guys want some. So uh, come check us out. But that's going to do it for this video. Appreciate you guys watching. God bless. We'll see you on the next one. <laughs>